Greetings, fellow humans. Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards. And at last, the TKL edition. My, probably my favorite layout of them all. TKL standing for 10 keyless, which is basically is a full-size keyboard with the numpad chopped off of it. Granted, the numpad usually has more keys than just 10, but I guess they just like the name and they stuck with it. Today, I'm going to be going over some of the choices that we have in uh, mid to late 2022 as far as TKLs go, in the primar primarily in the budget range. <clears throat> Although there's a couple of price here, but you know, more substantial boards. So the order of the boards does not signify anything. My opinion is my opinion, not anyone else's, uh, but there's not like from best to worst or anything like that. Basically, it's how I stack them up. And I've been trying to get this video out for a while. Uh, I've started it several times and have had technical issues, hoping that I've got them taken care of now so that we can move forward with the video. So today, we're going to start off with, like I said, not, not doing any scale. They're just random. This here is the drop control. This is a keyboard that was released, I believe, in 2019. If I'm not mistaken, maybe 2020. Um, it is a TKL from Drop. Now, to be fair, they also have the Drop Enter. And this is also a TKL, but this is a solder TKL, while this is a hot swap TKL. Now, they still sell this board nowadays. And granted, though it is hot swap, just so... You can see this board does retail for I think $169, uh, at least $150. I know for sure. See that? So if you have a five-pin switch, you're gonna have to cut the legs off of it and you know modify that switch forever in order to use that switch on this keyboard. So it's definitely something to consider. Now I got most, uh, pretty much all the drop products I got on sale. Um, I try to be as thrifty as possible. Uh, but the drop enter, it comes with your choice of uh, either um, the Halo Clears or the Halo Trues. Um, they're both a ni nice tactile, but the problem is, is that they really need some lube. Uh, those springs were really dry and they're pingy, um, and the case is kind of hollow. Though it's, it's an easy fix, and if you're willing to break out the solder in an iron and actually you know, tune the stabilizers, it's a decent TKL. Now, nowadays, would I buy one of these? Definitely not an MSRP. Now, would I buy one? I mean, I've got plenty, but mm, if 20 bucks or less, eh, it's worth it. I mean, it's a project board, and um, the drop enter does not have QMK that I, that I know of. So, I mean, if you're looking for QMK via, then I'd look for an open box version of this because I do know I've seen them as low as like $34.95 uh, open box but with no um, no switches or keycaps just a bare bone uh, but they do have the double USB-C port on either side um, but I don't want to sit here and sound like I'm, I'm talking badly of drop I just I don't feel either one of these boards really bring anything new or enthusiastic to the game it's just I, I mean, the Scent 75 kind of left a bad taste in my mouth. Uh, and I was kind of hoping for something more because they did turn around their customer support. So I was hoping they, they were going to turn around their marketing issues and their products. But neither here nor there. But, I mean, this is a, uh, a drop control, which is a 65, or a drop alt, I'm sorry. Drop alt. <laughs> Uh, which is a 65% and it's actually I bought this in parts put it together and I did mod it and I mean even though it is a tray mount it's a very it's a fun keyboard to use it's quite substantial and it actually has an acrylic layer so it has some you know a little bit of light show which I mean 
sometimes one likes that especially on a nice substantial keyboard uh, it has a perfect typing angle right out of the box I'm, I'm good to go I mean obviously wrist stress if you don't have something ergonomics but it's it's just fun so um, would I buy this keyboard at, at retail no. but I just wanted to bring it out I, it's not that I, I'm not trying to hate on drop I just there are better options. At first, when the MK870 came out, because it was a gaming company, I, was, I wasn't I was quite sure what to think. And I was also, I mean, I still haven't gotten really a, a clear answer as to why this. I mean, you got a really super recessed USB-C port down in there. Can you see it? Yeah. So you need a really skinny cable to get at it. And it's not like it works as a hub, it's just another way to connect it, which, I mean, I guess without the channels, but it's just, it's just kind of, it's an odd design. Now that said, this is actually, out of the box, a really nice keyboard. Um, I haven't actually done too much modding besides, uh, I think I lube the stabilizers. I haven't really even opened any one of these up because even though they're not perfect, they're not bad out of the box. Now this is a very solid kit. Um, these again I bought for under $50 each. I know they retail. I've seen them as high as like $80, $79, $99 I believe. Um, but they do go on sale. And I I was impressed. But when, the, when I got the first one I was like okay. This is a... Uh, this is a nice, it's a solid keyboard. Um, it comes in at just under a pound. I want to say it was 984 grams, if I'm not mistaken. It was some, something right around there um, when I weighed it. I don't know where my scale is at at the moment, or I'd weigh it right now. Uh, but but for what you get, they're, they come in different colors. They come in a gray, which I got to say looks very classy, but they're white is nice and clean the clear i'm not usually the biggest fan of, of of kind of clear but it's not bad it's not bad at all and it's a well built um keyboard it it's solid uh like i said i've yet to really get to modding it because i've been kind of happy with it so far well and it's also on my list to get to modding but um i've got to actually get around to it <laughs> but anyway uh this is a great kit if you can find it for a good price it's and you like tkls it's going to take a little bit of tuning of the sta stabilizers but other than that you could probably go you could obviously put something in there you could do a tempest tape mod you could add some p foam there's a couple of different uh mods that could be done to it but for the price you get a very decent tkl so again this is the fl esports c m m k mk 870 um, i mean if you search for mk 870 you'll find it these this here is the nk 87 entry edition uh, these are abs cases uh, this one down is the bloomin and this is actually made out of a material that glows in the dark um, this one here is a uh, the cream edition beige edition or it is beige but i forgot if it was called cream or not um i have actual issues with with one of these but anyway it's a long story and i'm not going to get into it uh, for the price now these did go on sale for the batch one they they sent out the uh, first kits um i believe without washers for the screw and stabilizers and it was causing some shorts so they sold the rest of them as build one now they include the uh, washers the motherboard washers uh, as they're called for the PCBs to screw from underneath so it could prevent any shorting uh, but they did have these on sale for as low as I believe $75 at one point um, the new one I believe comes in I want to say $135 but for what it brings I mean it's QMK via right out of the box um, it does actually have per key RGB which I mean it's not just because the board has QMK via and has RGB does not mean that it has per key RGB because per key RGB requires a little bit more RAM 
inside of the MCU in order for it to store all the different settings. I mean, it, it, MCUs run off of very tiny amounts of RAM and usually a very small OS like our TOS, but I mean, obviously on a keyboard it's a little different, but we're not getting into that anyway. Um, so it has, it has some nice features um, and they do come in some really nice colors. A lot of people do enjoy it. It is a good keyboard. It is, it is well built. Um, I know the issues with it are very minimal, very few and far between. I just happen to be one, but I do believe this is a well built keyboard. So if you're looking for more mid range, I would say this is probably a, 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 one to consider, especially the fact that they're an American company. And now we come to one of my favorite budget TKLs mid range is the CIY X77 TKL. There's a lot of reasons why I love this keyboard. One of the one straight off the bat, it has the ability to change its look in literally a second. Why? Because it has a magnetic shroud. It is plastic still, and that it does come in this silver grayish color, a white, which this one I actually did a hydro dip on. And if anyone hasn't seen it, it's basically spray painting onto water. You know, oil and water don't mix. And then putting the object that you want underneath it and pulling it up. And it almost just gives the, uh, usually plastic, basically like a skin. So I was able to take it and make a skin, which it looks very nice just on a plain white background. But then you can add the hydro dip, you got another color. Now it does have RGB um, and it is programmable. It's, it's very basic basic software but again it's a uh, one of those uh, keyboards that now it does retail I believe for $45 on Amazon but it's gone on sale many times for $25 and that's usually what I've picked it up for so um, this one is one of the ones that I've actually modded and you know, I've gone in there it doesn't take much it has a nice amount of space this one I believe I, I want to say I did a um, a silicone pour, silicone pour on this one and definitely took care of the stabilizers and so and it is a hot swap north facing on a keyboard oh, I've got the P foam in there as well and it is compatible with um, all three or five pin switches so now this keyboard goes on sale. I've seen it go on sale almost almost on a regular basis, almost about every eight weeks or so, eight to ten weeks roughly, so two, two and a half months. Um, this this keyboard will go on sale. I mean, see what I mean? Here you got a black keyboard with some red legends. Looks pretty good. I, I don't know why, but I just want to call it Dracula. But you could just take the shroud like magic you've got another keyboard so that's one of the reasons why I like this keyboard and I've uh, customized a few for friends as gifts and um, they've enjoyed them as well um, and also it comes from the company that brought us same company brought us the tester 68 um, CIY and they're solidly built um, they're easy to mod they do need a little bit of modding to sound better the stabilizers could use a little bit of work but like I said it goes on sale for as low as $25 for so $25 for USB-C TKL hot swap five pin um, you know decent decently built TKL isn't a bad deal at all and you got uh, three different angles I believe it's 6 10 and 13 if I'm not mistaken but I'd have to measure that again I'm just trying to get through as many keyboards as I can all right now this one is has been around for a while and it is a uh, there are I will admit there are much better choices than this keyboard at this moment but I also it's another keyboard that I've seen on secondhand markets for decent price and it really doesn't take much the key crons um, these type the ones with the uh, I mean they sometimes they'll come with the plastic sometimes they'll come without Sometimes they'll come with the aluminum. Um, they're usually fairly decently easy to uh, 
to mod and make sound much better. I mean, they're not going to be the most amazing keyboard in the world, but they're not going to be the worst either. Um, so this is the Drop K8, I believe. Yeah, this is the K8. Um, and they also have the uh, C1, which uh, is uh, beige. Uh, and you can get it, I think, uh, beige and with white light or no light even. Um, and the, these, the K series as well as the C series, can be loaded up with uh, QMK from Sonics, the Sonics branch. So this isn't, like I said, this isn't necessarily the greatest keyboard. I would not buy one new in 2022. But if you find one of these used, especially at a good price, um, it is, again, it is a north-facing keyboard. But, nope. Oh. Uh, picked the wrong switch puller. Uh, it has a very nice PCB. Um, so not only are the K series wired, but they're Bluetooth as well. So and they also have a Windows and Mac mode switch. They're three and five pin compatible. So any switch is going to work in here. This one I've done very minimal minimal modifications to. So, like I said, I'm just covering. Some that I've got around so that, got, that we can talk about right now. If you're going to get a Keychron, I highly recommend looking at the V-Series. Whichever layout you might be looking for. The V-Series is a great series of kits. That just you're, you're getting, you truly are getting, you're squeezing every penny out of your dollar. And as far as what you're getting with keyboard-wise. Especially if you look at even just a year ago. But look at it three years ago. Forget about it. You're getting a keyboard that even three years ago would have been hundreds of dollars. But, you know, that's what happens to the market. So, again, we're going to come with another. Maybe don't buy new, but there are tons. I, I think Glorious themselves um, sell these open box. This is the Glorious TKL. Uh, this is the one, not the, uh, the new series. I don't think they have a TKL in the new series. Um, but it, I bought it as cheap as $18, uh, on, on eBay, uh, without switches or caps or anything now, but this is a, it's a simple TKL. If you can find this TKL, uh, open box without any switches, um, you're only going to have, you know, availability to use the three pin switches, but other than that. You got a pretty decent keyboard. Another thing, this one does have a Sonics or Sonics like MCU, and it is very easy. I know this one has been loaded with um, QMK Via. So I have basically loaded up a QMK firmware for this keyboard that has the Via key mat. So when I plug it in, Via recognizes and allows me to program it. Doesn't have per key RGB that wasn't programmed into it. But if somebody actually took the time, I think it does have mem enough memory for it. But don't quote me on that. Anyway, this is a keyboard that very ran very uh, frequently goes on sale for, for very cheap. $25 or less. I mean, you really can't beat the deal. It is a pretty decent keyboard. It's easy to modify. It does have two different typing angles. Uh, they're both still kind of low. Um, I think I want to say it's like 5 and like maybe seven or eight it's it just i don't want to say much about glorious but i'm just saying these exist they're out there if you're looking for a second hand board wouldn't buy one of these new but if you can get one really cheap it's a great kit to play around with now this one is re one that recently came into my world and into a few other people's world it's a tiger light or tiger 80 light um there is the tiger 80 which is an aluminum version of this this keyboard, which looks gorgeous, comes in some really nice colors. It's a keyboard uh, designed and made by KBD fans. This keyboard, despite it being fairly light, I mean, this keyboard is lighter than a lot of the other TKLs, or about the same. And it actually has a bunch of hollow space. I did put the tape mod on it that came with it but that's about it but despite that
still sounds amazing. Now, right as as of this video filming, and I think for another day or two, uh, Divinity is having a sale, and I think these are at 105 bucks. Um, and anything over 100, I think, is free shipping. So, um, I it's they got a few colors, uh, and I mean. Honestly, if you're going to buy a TKL and you want to get the highest of the budget mid-range, you know, plastic, go ahead and get this. I mean, and even if you, if at regular price, getting it from KVD fans or get it for Dominique, I think they have it. I'm going to say 124, 129 is the average price. So, or 109, I believe, maybe it starts at. But they come in many different colors and it's really, I mean, I haven't touched this yet. I mean... This is all stock. It really, it's, it's a great sounding keyboard. I put it together. It's solid. It, it, they did a lot of things right on this keyboard, and especially if you liked the KBD Light 67 or the KBD 67. Um, sure, you're gonna really enjoy this keyboard. Again, this is the Tiger light or the tiger 80 light so in this situation we're going low budget this keyboard i have been able to purchase lower than 15 dollars on sale it is a monochrome keyboard though it does have some side light effects um, now this is a keyboard that has a plastic plate uh, it has a temu hot swap sockets the original ones the milnax style so only certain switches are going to work with this, probably Otemu's, uh, some of the Akos, not all of them, and then the Gatorons or Kales are going to work with these, uh, unfortunately, unless you modify each and every single switch, which obviously it's not recommended, and it would be a tedious amount of work. Anyway, um, this one, I do believe I have some Akko Rose, uh, Radiant Reds, or Rose Reds, no, these are Rose Reds, yeah, these are Rose Reds, and this one has been fully modified. So, this is an example of a keyboard. I did put some time and effort into it. Yeah, I absolutely agree. But I've used this as a daily driver, and I enjoy it. And, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, we just want a keyboard that's going to help us do our job, take care of business. So, um, this is the EUSU K620. I think I hadn't announced that yet, and I probably should have started off with that. Um, it is a TKL that uh, normally sells, I believe, for $24, $23. Um, I think they've had it as high as like $29, but I've seen it as low as like $13.99, I believe I've, I've purchased this at. Um, I've gotten their 60% as low as like $8.99. So, but it has, it has a plastic plate, and I actually prefer plastic than steel or aluminum, the metal plates. And I think, to me, I can I can achieve a sound that I enjoy much easier and quicker with a plastic plate with something like this. And with such a minimal investment, I mean, you can get them. They usually have the choices of a Temu Browns, a Temu Reds, or, or a Temu Blues. So you can get the Browns or the Reds and lube them up, and it's not going to sound horrible. But you could, you know, figure out Aqua switches that will work with it. And usually it's going to be the... Um, I believe it's the switches that have the um, wing latch. Yeah. So you'll notice that some Akko switches are have four pins, like the Gatorons, Gatoron, the Cherry style, the original MX style, but some of them have the wing latch. The ones that have the wing latch are going to have the skinny legs. If you have one leg that's wider than the other, it's not going to work with these hot swap sockets. So that's basically the only thing that you got to be aware of. Obviously, it's north facing keyboard, but you can make it sound like a lot more keyboard. And oh, also, this is it does come wired, and I ported it, and I didn't do the greatest of jobs, but it works. So, and here we come to what I would probably say currently is one of my favorite budget TKLs. You know, if you're 
trying to not break the bank but at the same time get the most features for your money um, this one starts at I believe $69 and this is the v3 the Keychron v3 that was recently released um, I believe on the 11th of October uh, does have a knob or a knobless version I chose the knob version I do have the q3 as well which is on this list but this keyboard despite being a tray mount keyboard does come with QMK and VIA, does come with feet to give you three different type and angles, does come with a Mac and a Windows mode switch, and it is a very decent keyboard. It's, it's one of the most solid keyboards that I've ever come across, especially for the price. It's hard to think of another keyboard that's as solid as this. Now, I've yet to open it up and get in there. I want to do that for a mod video. I have already seen... Uh, what's inside of the other V series so I'm pretty sure I know that it's going to have a nice big thick pad of silicone down here and but a stock it, this keyboard does not disappoint um, now it is a south facing five pin three or five pin compatible keyboard that also comes with QMK via out of the box. So for the price, you really cannot beat the V series. And I'm gonna go ahead and just make this one apart because they kinda they are so similar, except obviously the height. I think this one is probably going to be closer to the leg of the high, no, the medium legs. Yeah. Although, obviously, there's a slight difference in height. I've got this on the second, on the middle pair of legs, or the middle angle that you can type at. Obviously, this is a much sturdier keyboard. This is the Q3, this is the V3, but we can tell that they have the same design language from where the knob position is and how they're laid out. So this keyboard is gonna run you close to $200 uh, once everything is said and done. This one's gonna run you under $100 once it's all said and done, you know, I mean, roughly. So uh, it's, um, it's great that we have options like this because before there was only the more expensive options and having these more affordable options, I think, are gonna bring a lot more people into the community and into the hobby. So I, I believe both of these, these keyboards are very well built. I like the fact that they have QMK and VIA. I mean, you kind of win me over when, when you say QMK and VIA. Plus I'm a knob guy, I like the knobs. Yes, they could have put the knob here. I know some people complain about the knob position, but after a couple of days I got used to it, but it's like with any new layout. It takes a little while to get used to it, but if you just try to get used to it and work it into your workflow, then it does what it needs to do. So I did say I was gonna talk about some t some 80% because technically a TKL is an 80%, although it's expanded. It's basically cut off, you know, numpad, but then we have 80% did not notice that was upside down Shh. both of these were the tester 84 uh, I'd call it the bigger chunkier brother to the tester 68 because not only is it wired it's not wireless it has an aluminum frame this part is the is an aluminum frame that goes all the way around the border of the keyboard and it has a very thick uh, silicone pad. Um, I'd say comparable to the v Key Keychron v series keyboards. Um, it has you know, plate PCB padding. That's extremely well built. Uh, the stabilizers, after tuning them, that's basically all you really need to do to make one of these get up and go. Now this is a stock here, and this one is one that's been modded and has one of my Franken switches in it, I believe. And this one's completely stock. So this one does need a little bit of, yeah. But this is the newer revision. I haven't had a chance to get in there. Um, but it does look like they, they changed a few of the materials in there, and I actually plan to do a whole, a whole video. Of, um, I did an unboxing, and it's on the list to, to mod. But 
uh, for the price, I've seen this, these below $50, and I've seen them as low as $32 on the AliExpress when on sale. I don't. I don't think I don't see them that often on eBay or Amazon, but when I do, they they're asking way too much money. Um, anything north of fifty dollars is too much for this keyboard, I believe. I mean, fifty-two to two might be pushing it, but I mean, it is a solid keyboard. It does have metal. Um, it is programmable with the software. Very basic. It has a decent RGB, and it's it's a. Um, I know a member uh, recently did a burger mount to it. It does have the capacity. To be modified so it's a nice 80 percent and it comes to us again from the ciy family which uh or ciy company that that's made some good keyboards especially over the last year or so so i thought i'd bring these up just to slide them in there because i i mean it's just like any other layout it takes a little bit to get used to but you pretty much got all the keys that you've got on a tkl on here and we come to the last keyboard for the video this is the go polar gg86 now i want to get into the long story of how it took me a little while to actually get a hold of one i almost got a hold of one and then didn't and did and it was anyway um this is a it's a well-built keyboard i have yet to get into it i've wanted to uh, one of the cool things and I've, i know that this exists more and more expensive boards but this is I believe this keyboard retails for 135 roughly. So it is more expensive than say like the Tiger Light, but it does have an OLED screen, which I would recommend if you're gonna have that to definitely put um, film screen protector that you put on your, you know, the film screen protectors for the cell phones, smartphones, cut out the film, not the glass, the film, and put a little piece on there just to make sure you protect the OLED screen. I haven't had a chance, but apparently it is programmable. Um, I loaded up some keys on it and stock it actually it's pretty good um, it does seem to be built very solidly and i really need to give it a good go i know that one of the members on the subreddit has it and really enjoys this keyboard and i can see why now it does have the tsangan bottom row uh, the nk87s also have that they basically the story is there was some user named Sangan and like they begged and begged and begged someone to make a keyboard with this layout or that bottom row for some reason and somebody did and that's how it stuck. I don't know if that story is truthful or not, but I find that funny. Anyway, this was the uh, the display of TKLs. Um, obviously, I don't have everyone available to me. If you have any specific questions on any one of these, please let me know in the comments below. Um, I do intend to get to all of these to either mod or at least open up and see what's in them you know see if obviously most of the time i'm gonna mod so but we'll see what what's in there but if there's a specific keyboard that you'd like to see me mod or a specific mod you'd like me to do to a keyboard or anything like that just make sure to leave them in the comments below and i'll do my best to get to them as soon as possible so i hope that i've at least left you guys informed um, shared with you some of the TKL options that are out there and available right now. And I hope hope you guys uh, enjoyed it, most of all. Until next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on.